Um, my name is Tong, and I'm joined by my dear friend here, Teresa, on the violin. And tonight we just wanted to share with you three excerpts from this program we're putting together, and it's titled A Traveler's Journal. And basically in the program we play um, folk-themed music around the world. And we wanted to play these pieces to share how folk music and cultural music can help us connect with each other and also to our own heritage. So Teresa and I are both uh, Chinese Canadian, so we wanted to start with a piece, a Chinese piece that's very close to our hearts and it's a melody that we know well, so it's really fun to play this piece. Mm -hmm. So we'll be first playing an excerpt from the Butterfly Lover's Violin Concerto, and it's based on a traditional Chinese legend about two star-crossed lovers who in their lifetimes were always being forced apart and like Romeo and Juliet, they could only be reunited in their death. But the story does end on a happy note in that they're reunited as butterflies in the afterlife. And our excerpt starts with a lyrical introduction of the characters and dives into a playful schoolyard scene where our protagonists are running around in the field as its teacher angrily calls them back to class. And this piece was written for violin, but I think it has a lot of, in, in your mind, you should be able to hear many of the Chinese instruments and sounds that are typical of that style of music. And I think, especially in the kind of beguiling slides and the harmonies, um, that we're really excited to share this with you.
movement of the uh, piece called Histoire du Tango. And this is a set of five pieces, is it four or five? Sorry. Four. That explore the development, can you talk through? That explore the different stages the tango goes through. So the first movement is titled Bordello 1900. And it's a really fun, cute, and playful movement. And we think the music sort of depicts the images of these um, women who are chattering and they're sort of teasing the different people who are coming through the brothels. So it's a very playful, sort of sexy little piece. And for us classical musicians, I think Pizzol is often very special because he's one of the first composers that we play that's outside of our classical repertoire. So in my freshman year recital, that was the first time I decided to play um, crossover repertoire, so it's really fun for us to learn this vocabulary and explore these different styles. So please enjoy, this is Bordello 1900. Of the Romanian language. And there are also many unique timbres and sounds that 